The first microbrewery in Grahamstown receives its liquor license. After four years of business, the brewery will now add alcoholic drinks to the market. The liquor license is, is, is the biggest hurdle, has been the biggest hurdle for us really. Um, but it actually came through last week on Friday, so that was, that was fantastic news uh, for us. Beers will be going out into the restaurants in the next two weeks, and, uh, and then we'll take things from there. Founded by Grahamstown Local, Mark Riley plans to expand the business to areas such as Port Alfred and Kenton. Meanwhile, talks to collaborate with local restaurants and bars have already started with Tommy's Food Lab and the Rat and Parrot showing the most interest. So what we're looking at doing initially uh, over the next sort of uh, two weeks or so is just try and get into a couple of restaurants, a couple of bars, get the name out there and the word out there that, that there is a Grahamstown craft beer now. Um, and then uh, shortly after that, then beer sales will be open to the public. John Wayne Stevens, executive chef of Tommy's Food Lab, speaks about collaborating with Featherstone Brewery. Well, firstly, um, in, in my menu, I'm adding in them their own separate whole page in the menu with the breakdown on the beers, a little bit of history, everything of about our local brewery. The chef, John Wayne Stevens, is looking at ways of incorporating some of the beers into his menu. I'm looking at which of the beers I can tie in with certain of my foods, as well as on the sideline, creating signature dishes for their beers. Being drawn to local businesses, Kate Semple, the manager of the Rat and Parrot, speaks about her interest in Featherstone Brewery. With them being Grahamstown um, local craft beer, um, that's always, it's nice for us to support and it's nice for people to sort of learn about them as well because they're quite new. Considering the scarcity of locally brewed beer, Riley, in trying to establish the family-run business locally, shared samples of his beers. I mean, the idea was to taste the beers, uh, find out what they were like. They, all four of them are amazing. Um, so we would like to go ahead. I think we just need to um, work out the price point and yeah, um, take it from there. Having sampled Featherstone's current beer catalogue, conversations with the rats and parrots to start serving the beer are still underway. Now that Featherstone Brewers are served at Tommy's Food Lab, beer lovers can now enjoy some locally brewed beer. Dimi Bane, Grahamstown.